Hey everyone, here's a quick walkthrough of importing data into OrcaScan. So the first thing you'll need to do is create a sheet you want to import the data to, uh, along with any pre-existing columns, or you can leave it blank canvas like I've done here. If we jump into the sheet we're importing, um, you'll need to make sure that all the column names are in the first row of the sheet. This is because if they're all jumbled up, um, then you may find that OrcaScan misinterprets some of the column names for data. The second thing to note is if you are importing existing barcodes, you must keep in mind that the barcode column is the main reference point for uh, all of the data. So make sure that the column that the barcode information is in um, matches the column name that is an OrcaScan. So it's called barcode in OrcaScan and it's called barcode in the sheet. Um, it doesn't have to be barcode if it's named asset number in your sheet. All you'll need to do is go into OrcaScan and change this column to asset number. The last thing to note is that OrcaScan will only take the first sheet of any file, so make sure that the data you want to import is at the front, not at the back like this. Once you've kind of set the sheet up and you're ready to go, it's relatively straightforward. You'll just select the Import tab, uh, and then you can drop the file into this location here. Um, there's a few different actions, one being replace existing rows, which would work if you're like me and start on a blank canvas. Um, but if you're importing data into a sheet that already has data, or already has the, the columns, then you'll want to select Add to Existing Rows. Once imported, you can see that all the columns along with the, the data has been imported, uh, and all the barcodes have been correctly imported into the barcode column. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or issues, reach out to the team via the support chat. Simply click on the support tab from within your account.